All right, y'all, let's go ahead and look at a typical inverse variation problem. It says, suppose y varies inversely as x and y equals negative 6 when x equals a negative 2. What is the constant of proportionality and what is the inverse variation that models the situation? So most of these problems are tricky just by the wording. So let's break it down. It says y varies inversely as x. I'm going to underline this. And whenever we see phrases like that, just that just means we're going to use our inverse variation function. So I'm going to write f of x equals to k over x, okay? And if you remember... This constant of proportionality, this guy right here, well, that's just simply K, okay? Um, every time we do this, we have discovered through tables and such that K is just simply equal to the X value times the Y value. Well, in this case, we have an X and we have a Y. So I'm just simply going to use those. I'm going to say K equals to negative two times negative six. And what is negative two times negative six? That is just simply 12. Okay, so that is gonna be our constant of, of proportionality or constant of variation, depending on what phrase is happening in your classroom. And what we're gonna do now is we're just gonna simply set up our function. What inverse variation uh, can we use that models the situation? So I'm just going to write f of x equals to uh, 12 over x. Okay, there it is. And now we can use this function to um, determine other values along our curve or our graph. It says find y when x equals a 3. Nice, easy calculation. Everybody should be able to do that. So we just put x in the input. f of 3 is what we're looking for. And that is simply uh, 12 over 3, which is the same thing as 4. So f of 3 equals to 4. All right, y'all. I hope that helps you out with uh, determining how to write inverse variations uh, just in the most basic form.